Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content now. In today's video, we're going to be doing something that you guys always go mad for, and that's a full brand review. This is where I bring you a brand, I test a range of their products, we go to the, the pros, the cons, the good and the bad, and we work out whether this is the sort of brand that you want to buy for and have in your skincare routine. Well, full spoiler alert, I have found a doozy of a brand today, a fantastic, gorgeous, amazing new brand to share with you all. It's really rare in like 2020 because we've got so many good brands. You know, I can tell you The Ordinary, Inky List, Paula's Choice, First Aid Beauty. There's some really great brands out there. So it's actually quite hard to find a new brand that wows you. I was wowed. I was actually shook by the quality of some of the products and from this brand. Absolutely love it. So we're going to get into it a little bit more. We're going to talk about the products. I couldn't get my hands on all of the products. I think the hype has kind of got out there and quite a few of them are sold out. So I will be letting you know where I have tried a product and haven't tried a product. If I could get my hands on the product, I've tried it and I've used it for three weeks. If I couldn't, then I'll be looking at the ingredients and working out whether I think it's something I will be buying and wanted to try in the future. So I hope that makes sense. But I'll disclose that as we go along in the video. A lot of you will be thinking, well, I don't need to watch it now because, you know, you've already said the brand is fantastic, flawless. I, you were shook by the results. Yes, but you need to watch to the end because the final product I'm going to be talking about is possibly the most game-changing product and I absolutely love it. So if, like me, you have oily and acneic skin, you definitely don't want to miss this because the final product is probably going to change up your skincare routine completely and I absolutely love it. So the brand today is Q&A Skincare. I'll leave you an image of it there. This is a fantastic brand which is based here in the UK. You know I go mad for a British brand, but they do ship internationally. Um, a lot of you guys on these brand reviews have been asking if I can let you know where you can purchase the products. Obviously, I can't do that for every single territory and country, but I will give you the big ones. So here in the UK, you can find this brand on Look Fantastic, which is an online website. I bought from them before and they are a really, really good, well-trusted and fantastic. The customer service is amazing on that website. You could also get it on Look Fantastic US. So if you're over in the US or Canada, you can get it on Look Fantastic US, so log on there. Um, pretty little thing, stock it here in the UK, as do Holland and & Barrett and Lloyd's Pharmacy. Um, in the UK, they don't have any physical stores that I'm aware of, but you know, shop around, you might be able to find it, but hop onto Look Fantastic. It's a great website anyway, so you can definitely get it there or from their own website because they do ship internationally. I love this. I love the idea of this. Before I even got my hands on the product or anything from Q, I love the packaging. It's just beautiful. It's stunning. And uh, Jamie Albert Shepard, who is a Instagrammer, really young, amazing um, skincare mad influencer over on Instagram. I'll link his Instagram below, actually, is someone I follow and love some of his recommendations. And he was using a couple of these products, which is kind of what alerted me to it. So I jumped online and I ordered loads of the products, so many as I could get my hands on. And well, this is the review. So just the stuff that we want to cover off first. Brand is 100% cruelty free. You know on this channel, we love a little bit of cruelty free. I, I just feel we're 2020, we don't need to be testing on animals. There's some fantastic testing alternatives to that. I don't know why more companies don't employ it. So always get a huge tick in the box if a company's cruelty free and this one is. The products are vegan, which is fantastic. I personally aren't vegan, but I do think by eliminating some of those animal products in, it just widens it up to more people um, to be able to enjoy the product. So I think that's fantastic because even if you're not vegan, maybe you just want to cut down on the amount of animal material in products. So this is a great line for you if you want. Um, they have some really great offers on their website. If you go on, if you spend $15, obviously it's quite difficult to get to an online, a physical store um, at the moment. Lots of them are shut. Depends where you live as to how much in quarantine you are, but it can be quite difficult to get to an um, a physical shop. So this is brand is fantastic because it does um if you spend 15 pounds or more here in the uk you get free shipping which i think is really good and just makes that a little bit more accessible and again here in the uk do you know i'm going to sound like i'm sponsored i'm not they haven't reached out to me this is totally unsponsored this is just because i'm totally passionate about this here in the uk if you are a blue light badge holder which i think is like the emergency services um like discount scheme thing so supporting our emergency services you get 20 percent off everything online so Absolutely win, win, win. If you are part, if you are a blue light, blue card, blue light card, whatever it is, hold it. You'll get twenty percent off this in the UK. So just, I thought I'd give you a heads up. That's absolutely fantastic. I, I yeah, I love this product. I love this brand. I love the ethos around it. But I didn't know whether I'd love the products till I got them. So I'm going to go in no particular order, um, because I usually like to start with the best products first. 
and then work on to like the weakest out of the positive and work from there. But all of them have been reasonably good. So I'll talk through and work out which ones I like and not. As anyone who's ever watched this channel knows, the more excited I get about something, the more the hands flail. So brace yourself for some intense hand talking action <laughs> in this video. We're gonna start with what I think is my absolute favorite product. This is the one that I bought first because it was really recommended. Um, and that is the Caffeine Eye Serum, six pounds 50 here in the UK, $10 in the US. So really really, really good drugstore pricing. I love, 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 love this product. It is absolutely fantastic. I always go to the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5%, which I've spoke about on this channel before and say how much I love that product. I do. It's fantastic for reducing the dark circles, the puffiness, the water retention around the eye, particularly as we get older. We don't recover quite as quickly from those bingy nights out. If you had a lot of salt the night before, maybe a takeaway or something, it can show in the eye area the next day. So I use that as like my go-to to get rid of inflammation, puffiness and dark circles. This is fantastic. I would say it is just as good as the Ordinary, similar price point to the Ordinary, but where I think this is better in terms of its formulation, its delivery, is that A, it has a rollerball technology, so it goes on as a rollerball. I've actually lent mine someone to try and try to get everybody hooked on this product, on this product line, because it is amazing. Um, it goes on a rollerball, so you can keep this in the fridge, and it just gives you that super cooling, gorgeous effect. And the rollerball actually acts as a bit of a massage, so it's going to have a little bit more effect than, say, the Ordinary, which comes in a dropper bottle, and you have to put on manually with your fingertips. So I love that. Keep it in the fridge, and it's just that burst of refreshing coolness in the morning. I... Uh, yeah, I, I was blown away with the quality of this. And for £6.50, it's so convenient. If you're not wearing makeup and concealer under the eye, you can dab it on during the day. And because it's in that roller ball, it's small, pop it in your purse and you could just apply it during the day. So I like that. I think it's a little bit more versatile than the ordinary one. And I think that's fantastic. It's got collagen in there. I am not huge. If anyone who's watched this channel before knows I'm not a huge fan of collagen in products because the way that the skins works is it you need peptides which act as transmitters and carriers to, to support the body to produce more collagen. Just applying topical collagen to the face doesn't actually improve the level of collagen in the skin. I don't believe the studies are a little bit mixed on it, but I tend to believe they don't do that. However, collagen is a fantastic humectant and moisturizer. So in this sense, I love the fact there's collagen in here because just to you know moisturize and smooth out that under eye area that's absolutely fantastic so i love that it's got lactic acid in which is going to give a light brightening to the area light exfoliation which is what you need everything has to be gentle under the skin under the eye area so it's going to be a light exfoliation and a light brightening but it's also super hydrating. So a lot of people find that their under eye area gets crepey because it's dehydrated. So this is the collagen and the lactic acid, which is just gonna really support with that moisture levels in that area, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and it's got green tea extract, which is, everyone knows that's what she's telling I rave about green tea. Green tea is a gorgeous antioxidant. You need antioxidants to protect you against free radicals. And this has it in the green tea extract, which I think is absolutely fantastic. The only drawback from this is it does have alcohol in it. Now, a lot of people go, <gasps> alcohol, when they see alcohol in a product, they just, it's an instant no for them. I actually don't mind alcohols in products if it's offset by other moisturizing components. So alcohols can be drying on the skin. However, if you've got other humectants and moisturizers, which this has in bucket loads, I actually think it's okay to have alcohol if that's what you need to create the formulation to get the base formulation right. So in this case, yes, I'd rather it didn't have alcohol in, but I think there's enough humectants and moisturizers in it to offset that, if that makes sense. So overall, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Ding, 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 gorgeous product. Honestly, blown away by the quality. They've taken what was already a 10 out of 10 product in the ordinary and basically just made it better. The application's better. I like the hydration level better. It goes on easily and it doesn't leave a film at all in the skin. And because it's small and compact, um, you can pop it in your purse and you can reapply during the day. This is a game-changing eye serum. And honestly, if you have issues with puffiness, dark circles, go and check this out because I think you'll absolutely love the product. And at £6.50, there's not really much to argue with there. Next is the Hyaluronic Acid Facial Serum, another one that's priced at £6.50. There's not much really to say about this. This is your bog standard hyaluronic acid. All brands have hyaluronic acid in it. It's huge in skincare. People love hyaluronic acid. It plumps, it moisturizes, it hydrates. So for all, it helps retain the wa um, water and the moisture in the skin, which is absolutely fantastic. So I love that. Um, I think in this one, it's got very few ingredients, which is good. But fewer ingredients, the better. I just think that's a general 
general rule in skincare anyway because often people put um, companies put bulking agents and unnecessary ingredients in there which just gives you more chance of having a reaction because you only need one ingredient to react to it so the fewer ingredients I say the less chance of there being a reaction so I love that there's very few ingredients and hyaluronic acid is reasonably stable so you don't need a lot of ingredients in a hyaluronic acid this has very few and I really like it it does also have lactic acid in there which again will hydrate and will give a little bit of a brightening to the skin a minor exfoliation and will help just with keep the pH at around the skin's natural pH of 5 5.5 so I think this is a really really good product can I get super excited about an, a, lactic, um, a hyaluronic acid no I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 it's a good hyaluronic acid it's a good price it's cruelty free it's vegan it's all the good stuff that I like but it's not that exciting it's, it's, it's not a neod you know 15 different types of hyaluronic acid all in one product game changing 10 out of 10 product I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 it's a very good product a beautiful price I wouldn't make a special trip to get it, but if you're buying from this line anyway when you're shopping, stick one in your cart and try it out because I think it's a really good, well-formulated hyaluronic acid. Now we're going on to something that is genuinely exciting and game-changing. A lot of people say to me, I want niacinamide in my routine, but I find it crops up in a lot of different products. Well, very few of their products have niacinamide in, which I love, and they have a standalone niacinamide daily toner. This is just, this is fantastic because a lot of people want to use niacinamide but want to have it just in one product that just has niacinamide in that they can control. The Ordinary has zinc added in, which isn't for everybody, particularly if you're a little bit dry. Zinc can be quite drying for the skin. A lot of people don't want it sort of ferreted away in other products. They just want a standalone niacinamide. And this is a this is a daily toner. You use this um, after your exfoliation. You can just wipe it onto the skin. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this product. Um, I haven't, I'm not aware, though correct me if anyone's heard of one, of a niacinamide toner out there, which is basically just niacinamide with no extra additives and things in there, which I absolutely love. This has got aloe vera juice in there, which is fantastic. I rave about aloe vera. It's one of the few naturals. I'm not a huge, huge natural obsessive because I do think sometimes people will, you know, forego effectiveness for natural, which isn't always the best way forward. Um, I like stuff that's effective. If it's natural, great all the better, but I wouldn't just go out for that. However, aloe vera is a natural ingredient, which I do think has a place in every skincare. I think it's gorgeous. It's moisturizing, it's soothing, it's calming. And niacinamide can be a little disruptive on the skin. So having the aloe vera juice will just help offset any of the irritation or redness you might get from it. So I love this. You can use it every single day, morning and night if you want. I'd start using it just in the morning and then increase to the evening if you're fine with it. Um, I absolutely love it. You know, this is, this is another 10 out of 10 product. Ding, 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 ding. I love this product. I would just like, that if I was to critique it slightly, I would like the percentages of niacinamide on that. I've reached out to the company to ask for those percentages and I'll leave, when I get, I'll leave it in a description when I get an answer for them. For me, it seems, having tried this, to be a pretty standard niacinamide strength, which is great. You want between 5 and 10% ideally in your niacinamide. And I love this. I absolutely love this product. It just goes on the skin beautifully. I, uh, yes, definitely, definitely add this to your cart if you're buying from this line. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, we then have the Peptide Facial Serum. Now, you know, oh, while I'm on that, the niacinamide was £8, $12. So again, really good price point. I, it lasted me, I was quite liberal with it. I do like to really coat a, so a um, soak a cotton pad. So it lasted about three weeks. I think if you were slightly more conservative with your application, a month. So I think you get about a month's use in this, which is, I think is really good for the price point. So the Peptide Facial Serum, £9. One of the more expensive, but by expensive, I mean it's still under £10, so really not that expensive, under the $15 price point. This is another gorgeous product. Peptides are essential in your skincare if you want to boost collagen production. They do. Peptides have a number of functions. They hydrate, they protect the barrier function of the skin, and they help to produce um, collagen by acting as a transmitter and a carrier. So different peptides do different things, and this is like a buffet of different peptides. Gorgeous, gorgeous product, which will help moisturize and will help with that collagen production. Do I think it's better than, say, like the Peptide Buffet by The Ordinary? No, I think it's pretty similar, but I love the Peptide Buffet by The Ordinary. I did a whole video on it, which I will link up there. So the fact that it's on a par with that means it's a fantastic product. I absolutely love it. Again, you see the aloe vera gel coming in there. So that's hydration, that's calming. That's really good. I love that. And it has, it just acts as a great collagen booster and moisturizer for the skin. You don't need a peptide booster in your routine, but I do think anybody that's suffering with 
um, sort of aging skin, maybe they've lost some of the elasticity in their skin, maybe they're suffering with a little bit of dehydration, peptides will just cover all of that and they're really a fantastic ingredient. So I would definitely, definitely try a peptide serum if it's not this one, one from any other brand. Um, the Inculus, do a, their collagen booster is a fantastic um, peptide serum. The Buffet by The Ordinary I've already mentioned. Baja Basics do a um, collagen serum which is really good. There's some great ones out there but this is definitely up there in the top tier. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I'm not going to point off because there's not anything super innovative in here but I think for a really under £10 price point you don't need innovative you just need a product that works and delivers and this really does. I love this product. We're then going to the one product in their line I didn't like and it pains me because you know when you find a really fantastic fantastic brand and you kind of just get swept away by how amazing they are and you want everything that sits within that brand to be really good and you kind of want to trick yourself into believing it's amazing and then you come across that one product that you're just not a fan of. Now don't let this shade the brand as a whole because all brands have their dud products. The Ordinary, their retinols just don't like them, whereas everything else is game changing. The Inkylist, I'm not a huge fan of their vitamin C with epidermal growth factors. I think it's a bit greasy, but all the other ones are a fantastic. You know what I mean? Not all brands can be perfect. This has one mm, not too short product, which is their Peppermint Daily Cleanser, £7.50. I bought it, I used it once, I gave it away. I, it worked as a cleanser. So I'm giving it five out of 10 because it worked as a cleanser. It did what it needed to do, which was to remove the dirt, the debris, the pollution from the skin. So it worked doing what it should be. I just hate peppermint in products. I think we're conditioned, particularly men. Apparently studies have shown that men really like that peppermint and tingly feeling on the skin. That's something which would really make them want to buy a product. I have no idea why. That's just social studies have shown that. I don't like peppermint at all. I think it's one of the most irritating of the essential oils and the extracts out there. A lot of people's skin can be quite triggered by this and end up with redness, irritation. It can be quite drying on the skin. I just don't know why anyone would put peppermint in there. I know on a morning face wash, people want it to feel like tingly and like you're awake. And I think it's fine in a body wash, but on a facial wash, I think you're just opening yourself up to irritation and potential irritation down the line. So I used it once so I could get a feel for it worked as a cleanser but it's not something I would personally recommend because I just don't like peppermint in products I don't think I like a bit of fragrance I like an active ingredient I don't mind essential oils but peppermint I just draw the line at it's not for me give it away to a friend who loves that sort of tingly sensation goes mad for it so you know there's going to be a market out there for it it's just not for me and I don't want to recommend it five out of ten because you know it does cleanse it's cruelty free it's vegan so it's got a lot of pros I just don't like the peppermint if they'd have formulated it with something else I'd be on board with it because the consistency and the way it went on was beautiful just I don't like the peppermint I can't give it better than five out of ten so there you are you have the range now I said I'd leave the best to last and oh boy do I have a gorgeous gorgeous product this is I love zinc zinc is fantastic in your skincare if you are oily acne prone or blemish prone zinc is amazing it will help mattify the skin throughout the day so it helps stop that oil you know when you feel like a grease slick by midday it helps prevent that it regulates the um, oil production in the skin and it will help to just protect and boost the skin it's healing it's really good at healing um, acne scars and things like that so zinc is gorgeous you can't find a lot of people take supplements I'm not a dietitian I'm not going to be recommending on supplements but a lot of people do take zinc supplements to get that in their body but it's really hard to find a standalone zinc in a skincare product one of the subscribers to this channel alerted me to this which is another reason I decided to just go in and buy wholeheartedly from this brand and this is their Zinc PCA Facial Serum again under £10 here in the UK to so a really good price point and this is just zinc it's not niacinamide and zinc it's not zinc mixed in with something else this is just a zinc it is absolutely gorgeous it I honestly was speechless when I tried this product you can put this on in an evening and I would use it in an evening I wouldn't use it on a morning use it on an evening and I, the noticeable difference in a blemish the next day was better than any acid treatment, any niacinamide. It just dried up and shrunk that pimple like that. This is basically a fantastic spot treatment. You can use it all over the face if you want to just mattify and keep that oil production down. I use it in the evening as a spot treatment in the morning if you want that mattifying. Beautiful, beautiful 
product. I don't really know what more to say because it's such a simple, it's almost a boring product because it's just so simple. But often when you find one of those simple, boring products that you just think, wow, wow, I need this in my life. And for under £10, I mean, honestly, it's a fantastic product. If you are looking for a simple, effective spot treatment that will deliver what you want it to deliver, but not super dry out the skin and will help mattify during the day, this is phenomenal. It's got a bit of a cult following being sort of bubbling under online and I'm not surprised. I want to get the message out there. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous product. 10 out of 10, flawless. So I think if we summarize what I was able to try from this, we've got uh, three tens, two nines, and a five. That is better than any other brand I've ever reviewed on this channel. And I've reviewed a fair few. I do, I'll link a playlist here where I do four brand reviews. This absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't already, please check them out. I would be, overall, what my thoughts would be, the price point, flawless. The um, focus on active ingredients, gorgeous. The packaging, beautiful. It looks expensive, yet it's drugstore pricing. It goes beautiful on your vanity, but you don't have to pay too much for it. I love that. It's cruelty-free, it's vegan. They're totally transparent with all the ingredients. This is, what a, this is what a good skincare company looks like. For all those out there that are disappointed by some of the integrity issues in some skincare brands and some lack of transparency, this is what a good skincare company looks like. Everything about it is fantastic. I reached out to them, to their customer service team about something that was um, out of stock, well, it was in stock, I'd ordered it and then it turned out to be out of stock and they helped me straight away. So I'm totally, totally grateful for that. So I think the customer service is great. Overall, a fantastic brand. If I was to draw out a negative, I don't like the face wash. Um, they are struggling with stock levels on certain products, so they don't have the full range of stock. So I wasn't able to try everything and they've got some really, really exciting products I would have liked to have tried. Um, but some of them are out of stock, which is a shame, but I guess it's just what happens when you have a fantastic product line that people want to buy. Um, they do have a lot of um, extracts in there. So they use honeysuckle a lot in their products, which is fantastic as a hydrator and also a calming agent. But again, even though it's natural, just be aware that some people can be a little bit sensitive to it and it could create a reaction. So I always say to people, make sure you patch test, even when a product is natural and they have on average 98% natural ingredients in their product line, which is great, but still patch test because there's no reason, natural you can still be sensitive to and can still have a reaction to. So it doesn't mean you don't have to patch test. But other than that, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous product line. I, you know, I reached out to them to let them know if they could um, let me know when some of the other products are in, because I do want to do kind of a part two of this, where I review some of the products I couldn't, because there's some really exciting ones, which I won't spoil by like telling them now, but just go on their website and check it out. Beautiful, beautiful brand, fantastic products, and hopefully you enjoy them as much as I do. Guys, wherever in the world you are, stay safe, stay well. Hopefully you'll give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment below, have you heard of this brand? Is this like game-changing brand for you? Is it something you're gonna try or something you're gonna avoid? Leave me your thoughts, I'd love to know. We've had some, let's be honest, some dubious skincare brand reviews recently where we've just not been as impressed with them as this. This beautiful, absolutely love it. Overall, I'm gonna rate the brand 9.5 out of 10. They'd get a full 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for that slightly dodgy um, cleanser. Gorgeous brand. Let me know what you think, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.